In today's video, I'm going to show you how to analyze Google form results with pivot table. So you've created a form and now you're getting responses for your form. And a quick way to analyze your data would be to use the pivot table. So since this form that you've created will continuously be updated, depending on how many people or responses you're going to be having, selecting your data like so would be a better way to update your pivot table as well. So once you've selected your columns, let's go to insert and select pivot table. Now that we have our data range, we're going to insert it into a new sheet and let's click on create. Now that we have our pivot table, let's get started with our data analysis. So you can choose any of these. You can start with rows, columns, values, and filters. Let's start with our rows. Let's say we're going to start with our timestamp. We have our dates right here. And now for our values, we're going to select quantity. So we have the sum of quantities for every dates that we have right here. But what if you want to see the sum of quantity by month? What we can do is to group our date in our pivot table. And all we have to do is to click on the date right here or the timestamp, right click on it and select create pivot date group. So we're going to select whatever we want to see right here. What I want to see would be the year and the month. If I click on that, we have the year and the month with a total right here. Now, since we have some empty cells selected as well, what we can do to get rid of this blank right here would be to add a filter. So when we are going to add a filter, let's say the timestamp right here, it's saying showing all items. Now, if we select that, we can go to filter by condition and select is not empty. So it's just going to show us the ones that have values in it. If we click on that and select OK, now we've gotten rid of that blank space. Now, let's say we also want to see the item selection because we have another column in our form responses called item selection, which would be the items that have been sold. So if we go back to our pivot table, we can add it to our rows right here and select item selection. So now we have here in rows the items that were sold in that month and the quantity. Now, a better way to look at this would be in the column section. So instead of the rows, let's transfer the item selection into our columns. And there we have it. So that's a better view. We have the total of quantities sold for each item and a total quantity of items sold for each month. So let's say we have more orders for an extra small t-shirt of a quantity of 500. And if we submit that, go back to our pivot table, our pivot table will also be updated because if we go back to our form responses and go down, the latest update would be this one. And there you have it. That's how to do a quick analysis of your Google form results with the help of a pivot table. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.